Good afternoon. Welcome back. It doesn't feel like it was only an hour ago we were with you. Um, I'm Leanne Chivers from Crafters Companion and you are with us on Crafters TV. For the next two hours we are going to have a beautiful time because it's our craft along session. I'm really excited to be doing this craft along with one of my favourite crafters, a thoroughly fabulous person, our beautiful Debbie Fisher. Hi Debbie. Dude, it's exciting, isn't it? I love everyone that knows me, Leanne, and yourself, lo knows that I love a craft along. I love a craft along because it's one of the times that we get just to have that slow pace. We get to have a bit of a chit chat. We get to do stuff real time. Uh, and I love that. And also, any time throughout the next two hours, if you want to stop uh, and pause me and ask some questions or catch up, we can do that because it's real time. And I absolutely love that. So, and great to be back with you as well Leanne. Oh absolutely I'm so happy to be here I mean did you see me throw my notes out the throw my notes out the side there just making a note of everything we're going to be doing. Um, I'm really excited I haven't seen a tower card being done before and um, I didn't even know there was a thing Debbie actually that's a brand new concept oh, to me. Oh brilliant. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Of course we've got the fabulous lace edgeables and Debbie's going to be using them but we're not alone today. We're not alone. We are joined by um, the lovely ladies who, who are going to be crafting along with us. But before that, I think we're going to have a look at the shopping list that you all need. So let's have a look at that and Debbie will take us through it and then we'll go have a chat with our ladies. Yeah, absolutely. Now, remember, with a shopping list, although we've got this shopping list, you can use any papers and decorations that you've got in your stash. I'm going to be using the Sensational Scallops, which is the delicate lace edible. And I'm using Zara's Say with Flowers collection. Now you'll see that I'm using the uh, chrysanthemum die, the intricate art die, the classic bouquet, the happy birthday die, the dearest friend die, our vellum pad, our paper pad and some A4 linen card pack from that collection. Now additional items that you're going to need are our Gemini cutting machine, uh, A3 multi-purpose cardstock as well as A4 um, and if you haven't got A3 don't worry I'm going to show you how to do the card concept uh, with a smaller card uh, stock. Uh, you need your tape pen, your dotted tape pen, your guillotine, your scoreboard, your hot glue gun and your pokey tool um, and then you'll be ready to craft along. I'm really excited. I think, that, you know, there's not an awful lot you need there so I think this is going to be really achievable, isn't it Debbie? It's, um, I'm hoping it's one of those things where it looks really impressive but it's actually quite simple to do. Yes. I'm at, oh, good. I'm pleased to hear it. <laughs> now, we need to meet the lovely ladies who are with us today. We've got Stacey Watkins from LA and we've got the lovely Diane Shaw from West Yorkshire. We're going to have a chat with Diane first. Diane, hello and welcome to Craft Along. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. Is this your first Craft Along, Diane? It is, yeah. Oh, so we've got a craft along new. Yeah. I'm excited about that. So, Diane, come and tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, where you're from, how long you've been crafting, what your favourite craft is. Um, I've been crafting for four years, I think. Um, I'm from Castleford, West Yorkshire, where Michelle's from. Yeah. And what's your um, favourite nah. product? Your favourite thing to do? Um, paper craft making cards. Yes, you love to do that. See, you've got lots of paper craft making cards on those shelves behind you there, Diane. So you've, in four yeah, can years, can... Diane, in four years, you've done, a, you've amassed yourself quite a little stash there. <laughs> yes, we're all that, in the same that's we're all only in the a little boat. part of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> we're all in the same boat. We start off with a Which... shoebox and then we turn it into a whole room, don't we, Diane? Yeah, definitely. Okay. A bedroom, um, double bedroom. <laughs> We're really looking forward to spending the time with you, Diane. Thank you for joining us. Castleford is a lovely place. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we're going to meet Stacey. Stacey's over there in Vegas. Hello, Stacey. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm so excited to be here. Oh. I'm so excited to see you. Now, is this your first craft along, Stacey? It is, wow. it is. So we've got two new people, which is fabulous. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Stacey. Uh, we're matching today, yes. our jumpers. We're twinning. <laughs> yes, I wore pink for you and oh. for Debbie, because I know you guys like pink. 
thank you so much well you look beautiful in the pink um tell us about yourself thank Stacey you. how long have you been crafting what's your favorite thing to do so I've been crafting in one form or another my whole life and paper crafts are my favorite so I I really love crafters companion <laughs> through HSN yes brilliant I know it is great and what's your favorite thing to do um card making yes and we all love a bit of yes, card making sure. don't we do you like die cutting or stamping or do you like a bit of everything on your cards I like a bit of everything, but um, die cutting, I think, the, especially the creator cards, oh my goodness, you can do so much so quickly. You can. So it's so beautiful, so impactful. And I'm, I'm really loving that I can see all of our sentiment binders behind you um, when we did all yes. those fabulous sentiment things on TM, <laughs> on HSN TS. I'm spotting all the product behind you on your shelf there, Stacey. Lovely to see. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and we'll be back with you. Uh, we'll be back with you soon. Thank you. So, um, you. look, we are going to be using the fabulous Delicate Lace Edgeables. They really are exceptional. We've got them on a very good deal for you today. You've only got um, your, if you're a Platinum member, your $73.60 or $84. You have got 30% off this bundle today. You're getting all of those six dies. You're getting your vellum. You're getting your norm paper pad and you're getting your card stock there from country lane everything in that bundle plus my favorite an extra hundred bonus points now these are all of the designs that you've got in that fabulous bundle we've seen debbie use these i'm going to turn them around so i can actually read them we've seen debbie use these um in wake up call this morning and she did a truly stunningly beautifully card with them and we're going to see debbie use them again in our craft along today so in that bundle you've got your sensational scallops you've got your modern mosaic you've got your flowers and swirls you've got your edwardian chic we've got our elegant opulence and we've got our pretty lace and the concept for these borders is that you have got a deep a medium and a fine border in each one of these everyone separate but designed and curated to work together beautifully to give you all of those layering and stacking options or to use them hugely impressively as our Debbie is going to in this fabulous craft along. Debbie, I can't wait to see what you're going to be showing everybody. Absolutely. And you know what, Lan, it, uh, Leanne, it will amaze you how easy it is to put this actual main card together. A tower card is super simple. Now, I have to say, I was listening to our ladies that are crafting along in the break. Oh, were you um, earwigging? I was earwigging. Ooh. I come into the studio and they were up Stacey. on the screen. So I did to... in, Diane. I, I sat, Diane, I can see you there and I'll stay safe. So I was sitting listening and they were asking, who, who is it? And, they, and uh, Diane said, I think it's Debbie. And Stacey was like, oh. And so that was really exciting. Uh, but also what I did listen to is Stacey hasn't got any A3 card stock. Okay. So and that's good to know, Stacey, because what I'm going to do is do it with the A3 card stock. And then I'm going to show you how to do it with just your regular card stock oh. and give you the sizes for that. So Can it's always good to pause know. pause there for a minute and say, that is classic. Debbie Fisher, <laughs> in terms of what, what you see. What Well, there's that. There's the earwigging, Debbie. Uh, there's the being nosy, but I know you talked about that earlier, didn't you, anyway? So I know it's a... But no, actually, what I mean is just wanting to be very helpful and make things easy for people. That oh, is absolutely. Just genuinely what you are like as an individual. Oh. So I'm, I'm grateful, thank you, and I'm sure Stacey is very grateful too. Um, she's nodding along. Stay <laughs> so thank you, Debbie. Let's let's have a look at what you're going to do. Let's just get straight into it. Absolutely. Eh? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scoreboard and our A3 piece of cardstock. Now I want to show you how easy it is because when you've got your guillotine, and I'm going to bring my guillotine in, you'll see straight away you can't put an A3 piece of card in the guillotine. So I'm going to show you an easy way of being able to do your scoring first and then trimming it down. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to place my shorter side just here of my uh, A3 cardstock and I'm going to come in and we're going to score at five inches. So just there. So five inches all the way down and then I'm going to go across to the seven inch line and we're going to score down that seven inch line as well. 
Then what I'm going to do is bring this across to my four inch line. Um, and I say that like you would have the same, so apologies. Um, if you don't have a line down your board, draw yourself a line down here. You might have our bigger board and what you want to do is you want to score at two inches four times yeah. after your first line. So okay. does that make sense? Now, because yes. I've got the shorter board, I use it just because most people do have our just our score master and not our big score. I draw a line down the board. It means I can see the opposite end. So I can line that two inch mark up uh, down the bottom and at the top. And then I can go across now to my um, six inches and score that down and then to my eight inches and score that one down, okay? So what we've actually got is the score line at five inches, seven inches, nine inches, and 12 inches. Perfect. Okay, so all the way along. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and fold the score line on the second line. So folding that over just like so and burnishing. Doesn't matter if it's a third line, doesn't matter what line, as long as one of your lines is folded in half. What that then does is it allows us to bring in our guillotine and then we can now fit this piece through and trim this down to six inches. Now six inches is what size your dies are. So that's the perfect size. So trimming that down and then you've got your six inches. And then all you want to do from there is that we can then go in and burnish all those score lines. So let's just go in, burnish our first one. So that's your score line at five inches. Then your score line at seven inches. And all the time, all I'm doing is making sure my lines match across the middle. And then we've already done our next one. And oh, I've done oh, one missing, that one there. So don't worry, I'm going to recap everything. And then that gives us, our, oh, we didn't need to score on the other line, but it doesn't matter. So we've got our, let me just bring this in. We've got our five inches, do it the right way, Debbie, there we go. Five inches on here, mm -hmm. then seven inches. Then I move that across to anywhere, but I've got my four inch mark, which lines up that section. And then I've gone in at my six inches and eight inches. And what that's done is that's given me a measurement of two inches between each of those lines. Lovely. We're gonna take this piece off. So this is a nothing piece, okay? Oh, okay. So we've just got these sections. So I'm gonna repeat that completely. So you've got it. And then I'm gonna tell you, Stacey, how you can do yours. And don't worry, we will give you time to catch up. So A3 piece of cardstock, five inches, scoring down. Then we're going to go in at seven inches and score down. Move that across to the four inches. So when you say four inches, Debbie, just so everybody yes. can get confused mm -hmm. at home if that's okay, that's the four inch mark on your board. Yes, you could put it to whatever one you it want to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think saying the four inches might be confusing anybody with the inches measurement. Yeah, no problem. I'll tell you what I do, just to make, so you just know, I'm gonna bring in my big scoreboard. Thank so you, So you can Debbie. see exactly how I'm scoring it. That way I haven't got to move anything. Yes. So let's do it, just so you know what those measurements are. So five inches, yes. then seven, yes. then nine, yes. and then 11. Oh, I said 12, yes. it, but 11 inches. Okay, so what you're doing is scoring at the five inch mark, yes. and then you want one, two, three. I think we do need a fourth one. Yes, we do. So I'm gonna bring that across to any number, as long as you're lining it up. Yes. And then I'm gonna score in another. No, I don't think I am. I've confused myself then. We're just scoring three more times. Let me double check on my piece of card. Yeah. So while Debbie's one, having two, a double check, we'll do three. some comments, Debbie. We'll one, just two, have a little three. chat with some comments while you get your board there. I think that definitely that second one made it much clearer for me, so I'm sure it did for the ladies as well. Um, we've got so many of you joining us in this craft along today. We've got Sarah Brown. Um, she says, hello, Debbie and Leanne and all the CTV crew from Melbourne, Australia. I love it here at CTV. We truly are international. Mary Beth Doyle says, hi from Minnesota. Hello there, Mary Beth. Um, oh, she's watching for the snow to start. Oh. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I love that movie, Debbie. Yeah, me too. I really love Who it. Who was telling me they only watched that for the first time? 
And I couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah, someone here. Is and it Craig? It might have been Craig. I told him he had to watch it because he hadn't yeah, watched it. Yeah, I bet it was Craig. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Dear me, a man so dedicated to Christmas hadn't seen White Christmas. I know. Um, Scrump Shopper says, good morning from Houston, Texas. Hello to you. Best barbecue in Texas I've ever had in my life. It was amazing. You buy it by the pound, Debbie. <laughs> you won't buy your meat by the pound. Honestly, unbelievable, fantastic. Uh, Eleanor's from Shrub, Shrub, Oak in, Shrub Oak in New York. Hello, Eleanor. Carletta's here. Hello. <gasps> My wolf eyes, wolf dark eyes, moon waters with us today, everybody. Legend, how has the midi survived? Wolf dark eyes, moon water. We need to know. Um, we've got Annick. Um, and we've got Barbara, we've got Christine Mahoney is in the house, Kelly Gambetro, well, I hope I said that correct, Suzette's with us, oh, so many of you, welcome, I hope you're enjoying the craft along. Debbie, have you got that ready for the ladies? Yeah, what I'm doing is just to make it easier for yeah. everyone, I'm just doing some bits Thank of cardstock to make it so easy for this you. This is massively helpful. Thank right, you so, so much, Debbie. Right, so that's our five, seven, nine... 11 and this was a 12 so what we did i'm going to bring that piece of card that i had back in which which we've done mm -hmm. and i've scored so you can see here right above our full card the full card will eventually be 13 inches by six inches amazing so what we've done is we've scored in at five inches mm -hmm. seven inches nine inches 11 inches and 13 inches and you trim off at 13 and then you trim off at 13 Perfect. inches yes okay Thank so you, that's Debbie. exactly what you need now if you haven't got a3 cardstock I'm going to bring in these two pieces you don't need to do this if you've just done that first step you want two pieces of cardstock one measuring eight inches by six inches so, so this, this is for you Stacey, Stacey. Oh, <laughs> jinx. <laughs> <laughs> and then you want a piece seven inches by six inches. Lovely. Okay. That, so, Stacey, so if you haven't got an A3 piece of card, you want two pieces like this. And then what you would do is you would then fold it exactly the same way. So let me bring this one round. Fold all those score lines, all at two inch increments. So that gives you your first part, eight inches by six. And then this one would be your um, seven inches by six. And two of these pieces will stick together. Oh, amazing. And that will form that piece exactly, or the other way Perfect. around, so you can see. Okay, Excellent. so that's how you can do it two different ways. Love so that. what Thank we're going to do, and we can always recap on that, just let Leanne know in the comments if you need to recap on yes, that. Yes, if we need a recap. Can, we'll just check in with the ladies, Debbie. Oh, yes, that would okay. be good. Just make, sure, just make sure they're keeping up, if that's yes, all right. Yes, absolutely. Just before we move on, they might have some questions. No problem. Um, let's go to Diane. Diane, how are you? I'm to I'm okay, but I'm totally lost. Okay, now what would you like to know? What What are you lost with? And we'll help you out, because other people at home might be right. doing it as well. I've got A3. Yeah. Now, which way do I have it on the scarboard? I've got the big scarboard. Is it long ways going down? Long ways going across. So you have to No, we're cross, right. Yeah. yeah. And then I score at five, five, five inches. Down. Yeah. Seven and nine. Yeah. What else? And then at eleven. Is trim. Is it? Eleven. No, then at right. eleven. And then at thirteen is where you and then a thirteen line. Mm-hmm. I love this doing it live. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And it's that 13th oh. line that we're going to trim off. 13. Yep. So what you want to do right. now, Diane, is you want to fold one of those lines in half. So fold any one of the score lines. <laughs> it's so good. I, I love, love it. It's just crafting <laughs> along real it's time. So funny. So when you fold it in half, that will enable you to put the whole piece of card through your guillotine. And on that 13th line that you scored, that's the one we're going to trim off. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, please don't be sorry at Right, all. so I've got five, seven, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. Yes. And then I've got a piece about three inches left and I cut do I cut that off yes you cut off at the 13th okay. the 13th line is where you're going to trim the card off oops 
yet. Okay. All right. Got that. We'll Sorry. While you're doing that, we'll check in with Stacey. Stacey, how are you doing? Have you got any questions for us? Yes, I missed the part where she gave the um, dimensions for the two pieces. Yes. I got all the that. five okay, seven the nine, but I didn't get Stacey. to do that. Thank you, Debbie. No problem at all, Stacey. Uh, so you've got your first piece of card is eight inches by six inches. Eight by six. I love all these noises that are going on. This is just the best craft log. So eight by six, yeah. And then our next piece is seven by six. Okay. And then you're going to score your eight by six inch piece at two inches. So two, four, six. Okay. And then your next piece, you're going to score at just two inches which gives you a five inch gap and a two inch gap. And it's the two two inch end pieces that you will stick together to create the piece once I've trimmed, trimmed the end off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let Stacey do that. Thank You're going to show us how to trim the end, aren't you, Debbie? Yeah. So we're going to go down to that okay, so, uh, 30. Diane, you watch how Debbie's doing this. I can't, can't see anything of Debbie. I can see you, but not Deb. Oh, right. I can see Debbie's hand. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So, yes. Yeah, so, that excess, Diane, you're going to take off. So, what you're left with is your five inches and then one, two, three, four panels of two inches. <laughs> is that okay? Have we got there, Diane? <laughs> yes, I've got that. Yay! 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 And, and honestly, oh, ladies, that was the most difficult part. Yes. Because, <laughs> yeah, if we look at this now, look at this. If we just turn all our sides round, that's it. Can you see? Oh, We've created the tower. the tower. Oh, my word. I know. So then the only thing we have to do is create panels here of five by six. And I've we create more I've to go the way round. Have you? Yes, that's amazing, I Debbie. I know. Oh, it's, it's easy <laughs> when you know how. I know, it's, it's, it's so easy. simple. It yes. really is. So, so, yes, it's just getting those measurements. Yes. So, shall I just quickly recap on those? Yes, please. You've got five inches here, then two inches, plus two inches, plus two inches, plus two inches, okay? So yes. 13 inches across, six inches down. And that creates your full tower. And then we need to create these panels to go just literally, you stick them all the way around your tower. Oh, my word. So simple. Simple. So, so simple. And just for uh, our Stacey, if you're doing, if you've only got A4 cardstock or US size cardstock, all you need to do is do an eight inch piece of card by six inches, by a seven piece of card by six inches and you're scoring at two inches really on all of them yeah. um, and that creates so when if we stick this one I'm going to stick it together yeah, let's, let's see if, if we easy. then stick this one down and pop Stacey, that watch this bit hang on De Debbie Stacey's not looking Stacey <laughs> Stacey <laughs> Yeah. So all I've done is glued this panel that's on my seven by six piece. We're going to stick that over the top like so. And then that then creates that tower piece. Amazing. Okay, so we're doing it both ways. It just means you use two separate pieces of card instead of one piece of card. So I hope that makes sense. Yes, let's just check in with Stacey. Yes, let's check with both of you got to that stage. Hi, Stacey. Did you understand? Yes. Can you do two towels? Is that correct? You should have two pieces and then you stick them together. Okay. Yes. Not, yes. Stacey's got it. Okay. Amazing. Thank you, Stacey. Diane, don't worry. That's for Stacey. That's you don't have two pieces of card. No, you've got one piece. <laughs> she's nodding no because she's got one Diane, piece. Yay. She's got one piece there. <laughs> Look to everybody, Dan. <laughs> can, can I just Amazing. can I just say it's like listening to Norman Collier. <laughs> <laughs> the sound the sound's really bad. 
<laughs> well, this is what craft alongs are all about, and it means we can stop and start. And actually, that really was the most difficult bit, was just to get all those measurements. And it's very hard when you're sitting out there trying to do all these measurements, so it's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll breeze now through it all. So what we... <laughs> What we need to do now, we need to create these panels. We need three more pieces of five inches by six inches. So I'm just going to use my cardstock here and we're going to trim this one. So we, we need two pieces of just our A4 cardstock or whatever cardstock you've got. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to trim these down to six inches. So that's going to give us our first panels. And then we're going to trim these to five inches. So five inches and then another five inches, <laughs> just like so. So that gives us our two panels and they, will, they are the perfect fit, same size as this one here. So that's two and we need one more. So again, all I'm gonna do with this piece is go to our five inch mark, trim that down and then to six inches for our panel. So that gives us our three panels. So let's pop that to the side and then bring this in, pop them away. Keep all these extra bits of car because we can do our die cutting out of them uh, uh, later on. Just pop them to there. So this gives you, if I just show you, this then gives you your tower card and then we're not gonna stick them yet, we're gonna decorate them first. You literally put each one side by side when they're done. Can you see, starting to build them up all the oh, way around. Oh yes. Yeah, or create big. your tower card. So what we do need to do now, we're just gonna do a nice bit of die cutting. So I'm gonna grab my dies. You can use any dies that you've got, but these dies I think work exceptionally well because we're gonna do our mats and layers with them. So we're gonna start off with our biggest die. So I'm gonna be uh, die cutting these and we're gonna be doing these on all of our pieces. Now, the first thing I want you to make sure is to pull your tower card in because we're not sticking anything yet. You wanna make sure that you're getting it the right way because you don't want to have that open die cut that at the side and then that's the opposite way round. So right. check which way your tower card is going to go and then this will be the front. So I'm going to place this over on this edge. Okay. Lovely. So just like so and we're going to get some low tack tape and trim that out. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do this on all four pieces. So this one and then your other three pieces. And remember, you want them to go down the six inch side of your card, okay? So I'm just going to be die cutting these out now then, Le uh, Leanne. Okay, we've got some comments coming through and then we're going to check in with Stacey and Diane again, see how they're managing. Um, I think it looks like Diane's cutting all of our squares of card out, which looks great. It looks like Stacey's getting ready to uh, do some more scoring. So, um, I, I'm looking here when you see me do that because I can see the ladies on another screen. So I'm going to watch you and watch them at the same time and we're going to watch Debbie. Um, so I have to say, everybody who was worried about Wolf Dark Eyes Moon Waters MIDI machine, uh, Debbie, you won't know, last week, Wolf Dark Eyes Moon Waters grandson put a piece of pizza through her MIDI. Put what? A piece of pizza. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and not only did he put a piece of, not only did he put a piece of pizza through her midi machine, it also it did take it through. George now is fascinated with his story. He's like, he put one in. Did he take it through? Did he think it was a food machine? George is fascinated. <laughs> he also put in there from memory um, some other random things, plus wedged in a green soldier. Oh dear. There was some packaging went in. Anyway, I asked, obviously, is it okay? And she says, yes, it's absolutely fine. Now, saved by the dog who licked all of the pizza out of the machine. <laughs> so we're all really, really pleased for you, Wolf Dark Eyes Moon Water. Did it, can we're I thrilled. ask, did it go through the actual, um, did it go in a folder or just No, through? just in the machine. 
<laughs> just as oh George George wants to know oh he was, he's far too quick for his own good out George uh, he said did it go in Chicago and come out Italian <laughs> well at Wolf Dark Eyes Moonwater you let us know what happened with that if that's what happened we're so happy to hear that your midi's okay now look there's so many thanks for this Diane says this is so informational most importantly fun we're definitely having fun today oh absolutely uh, betsy throop says watching from the airport and with my daughter picking up after night uh, picking up my nine-year-old grandson never watched the show at the airport before but i'm loving the craft along and i'll do the project later she's done lots of laughy faces she's also having fun <laughs> Rhonda says i've made one of these cards before they're really fun uh, stephen lee guy says this is the best craft along ever <laughs> It's Diane, it's Stacey, it's me and Debbie, all from Wolf, Dark Eyes, Moon, Water and a Pizza. It's everything. Um, Barbara Rastofsky, <laughs> she says, Leanne, this is great. You are making sure we understand before moving on. That's my job here, Barbara. That's what I'm here for today. Yeah, um, absolutely. And we are going to make sure that you all understand. I am, in Jamie's words, the umpire. <laughs> so, no, no, uh, what was his name? John McEnroe's here. It's out! Empire, umpire, it's out! Um, we'll go through it. Now, let's just see if the ladies are okay. Diane and <laughs> Stacey, we'll start with Diane. Diane, how are you feeling there, my love? <laughs> um, I've got my pieces cut out. Good. What did Debbie say about the... Um the edgeable the die yeah does that go on the the five the five inch one it does on the short edge of the five inch piece it yes. goes on the six on the six, the six long, inch. down the long six yeah. inch piece the best way to find it out diane is to put that piece of card to your piece on the tower card and then you'll know which way round it goes yes yeah so you should oh, have your piece. I've just, I've just worked out how the tower goes together. I'm thinking <laughs> mine doesn't work like Debbie's. <laughs> but it does now. Oh, 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 oh Diane, we I love you. It. <laughs> Look how little Diane is. is. And that's what everybody's going to be feeling at home. We're feeling your joy for you, Diane. We really are. Let's see where Stacey is. Stacey, how are you doing, my love? I'm a little bit behind. I had to recut one of the sections but just keep going i'll catch up at break okay stacy we'll just keep checking back in i can see you on a screen in the corner stacy so if you ever need to ask us something just wave your hand and we'll see you okay. george and we'll stop and we'll come back to you love all right Okay. Thank you, Stacey. Right, Debbie. Uh, on to the next bit. Absolutely. And and please don't worry. Please don't get in a panic. Please don't feel like you're falling behind. Because even if we only... Because we have two hours. We've got an hour and 24 minutes left. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. Because if we don't get to that end of that two hours and we've not finished completely, this is quite a repetitive. And it's why I like doing cards like this. Because each panel is quite repetitive. Yes. And so each one, you'll know you can do for the next one. So even if we don't finish the last one or we yes. don't finish our embellishments, you'll know by the end of it how to make a tower card and how to put those panels yes. on. So please don't panic. I'm quite happy to do it at your pace. We have our finished card. We would definitely get a couple of the panels done in that time, if not all of them. So Amazing. please don't worry. Thank so we've you, got Debbie. our first one. Do you know what I've just worked out as well? So this is a really good tip for anyone that's doing their die cutting. This one, Leanne, has cut perfect and cut completely. Yeah. Completely flat. I've got no um, warping oh, in my cardstock. This one, I've got quite a bit of warping. Can you see? It's yeah. like bubbled. Now, what's happened is this one I've cut down the side of my Gemini, ah. and it's because I don't know if anyone's heard about Sarah saying about the cutting points going yes. across. When I've put this in this way, because I had to put it in long ways, it's going through a lot of cutting points. So actually, the pressure is being split between all them cutting points. With this one, I've got literally a third of them just going through so it's warped the cards so what it's learning me to do is when I then place it onto my next piece of card yeah. so I've done now my tower card piece I've done one of my panels I'm going to actually put it this way into my Gemini so I'm going to just take my tape again so it's all these little 
tips about how it helps not to warp your card. Um, and it's not a bad thing, it just means that we have an amazing machine uh, that gives us the amount of pressure we need to cut. So what I'm going to do now, because I did that facing this way, so going horizontal across our board, I'm going to put it to the top and I'm actually going to use my reverse button, which we don't do a lot. But if you place that then into your machine, I know I can hear a little bit of a clonk when that goes through, like so. Yeah. Press my pause, press my reverse. That's going to reverse it out. So great for anyone that's got their machine that has to move their machine to get it out the back. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to do that anymore. What a fabulous top tip, Debbie. And then when I take that off, that's going to be cut the tape stuck to there look at that and it's completely flat oh completely flat look to the, compared to this one i don't know if we can see yes we can look at the difference massive massive difference, difference. yeah absolutely you know what? i love this craft along just for that top tip yeah because i think so many mm -hmm. so many of us can get frustrated with that and wonder what we're doing wrong and look, Debbie's just giving me the solution. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Thank absolutely. You, as soon as I did it, I thought, wow, that one's warped and the, the one on, on there didn't. But that was the that was the difference. So we're going to do the same. Hopefully you're all um, keeping up with our die cutting. So I'm now cutting my I tell third you you're keeping up with the die cutting. Oh, Diane, I can hear her machine in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> she's going for it. She's like a conveyor belt, Diane. <laughs> So, but it is what um, uh, craft alongs are all about. Yes. It's, it's we all learn from them. Oh, I've absolutely. done craft alongs, Leanne, where they've just literally gone really wrong <laughs> and I've had to completely redo it and I can't even <laughs> read my own instructions. <laughs> We've all been there, Debbie. Um, I have to say, Evelyn Boyd says, loving this, it's amazing. Uh, Betsy says, you ladies, you ladies are a hoot. <laughs> We're just having fun. We're just Absolutely. having fun. Absolutely. Hopefully you're all having fun with us at home as well. Um, Christy Mahoney says, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how you keep checking in. I totally can relate the other day with the binder for the craft along. I couldn't work it out for nothing. Glad you keep checking in with them since it's their first time on the show. Yes. My absolute pleasure. It's all about making sure that the ladies who are joining us and all of you at home get all of the information you need and the maximum amount of tips from our Debbie while you're here in this craft along. Right, so we've got our three panels plus this panel here. So the next thing we want to do, we want to create our mats and layers. Lovely. So I'm just going to take a piece from my um, A4 cardstock. So this beautiful linen cardstock. Would you mind, I, Debbie, if I yes. just check in with Stacey? Oh, absolutely. I think I've just seen Stacey's created our tower and she might need some help on where to position our die. Oh, OK. Is that OK? Yes, absolutely. Can we just check yes. in? Because um, I'm watching the ladies out the corner of my eye as well. Um, Stacey, hello. I think I've just seen your tower. Uh, yes, I have Woo! towers, but I don't see how she put them together to make that beautiful. Oh, OK. So let's see what you've got. Because that looks like a tower to me. You only have one look. You've got two, you need two parts there. You just need one of them. So I can undo. If you don't need that one. You only need one of them. You've made two Diane, cards. Do, can you and hold for a second? Don't undo it. Don't undo it if you've stuck it, Stacey. Don't take it apart. Leave it. Okay. Now, yeah. what you've done, Stacey, is make two cards. You only need one of them. Put one aside. Go like that. Put one away. You don't <laughs> that now. You need that it's one gone. in your hand. Gone. Gone. You need that one in your hand. <laughs> And that one uh -huh. there, that's what you're going to decorate. Oh, OK. Yeah. Now, Stacey, what you have done is you've already constructed it, but it's fine because it will fold. So, so you um, can still put your die on sorry, it. Sorry, Debbie, because Stacey can't see you. George, Stacey needs to be able to see Debbie. There we go. Everybody can see Debbie. Lovely. Sorry, Debbie. Debbie. I've not put mine together, Stacey. So, but I've already die cut at the side. You've put yours together okay. and it's absolutely fine. So if I just do that, you can see what you want to do is lay that flat. So you've got your tower like this. Uh huh. And then lay it flat and put your die down that edge and die cut that through. You could still do it without taking okay. it apart. Okay, yeah, well, I'm die cutting the edge itself. Yes, so you want to die cut that okay. edge. So if you can see, like if mine's a tower, just like so, if I put that down so you can see it there, that's better. George will be able to get that better positioned for you. And then you're going to cut down that edge 
And then all okay. these individual card pieces then will then go on each side. So if I just bend oh. that one, can you see? Yeah. And then this one will go on that side. You just build them up all the way round. Debbie, thank you. Seriously, she's just had an epiphany. Um, and everybody else is watching. We just are having an epiphany. It. We understand. All and right. Diane, push it. Diane's a machine. I understand the assignment. She's cracking off. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And you know what? I hope I'm not annoying you all, constantly interrupting. I just really want to make sure that everybody gets the best absolutely. out of the craft along, absolutely. Debbie. Thank you for your patience uh, with me. Well, it's absolutely what it's about, isn't it? We don't expect everybody to be at a high level of crafting. What these craft alongs are all about is the fun. It really is. And just maybe making something new that you haven't tried before. Uh, and we do know sometimes that we make things that maybe be, might be a little bit extravagant. But actually, once you've worked this out and how simple it is just to do your task, Hour, the rest will all lock into pace and be absolutely fine but actually it's really good that Stacey glued it together because it shows if anyone's done that at home you can still die cut it out you can still put that die over that piece of card because this is a card that lays flat so you would just then pop that on your side and run that through and it won't um, it won't matter that you've glued this bit down because it will just pop back up into place I just didn't do mine um, to start with because it's just easier doing all your mats and layers when it's not stuck together but yes. because it is a flat tower card uh, it's absolutely fine to do that yes right now the next thing we want to do um, and I know we're moving along um, so apologies to Stacey so hopefully she will cut she will catch up on them yes, she's but, putting our panels she's all yes, right brilliant so but what we are going to do we're going to take our block color now what I would suggest is decide what color papers that you want to use from your pad so I've got mine here I've got an orange I mean the colors on this are just exquisite, exquisite aren't they absolutely i mean so beautiful it really i do just want to spray perfume on it it yeah. just feels like these they're so realistic so i've chosen two coordinating papers um to do my uh, bases with so i thought well actually i'm going to go for this color because it's got the nice. purples in both pieces you just decide what you want to use and how to use them so what we want to do we want to create our panel that goes onto this piece here mm -hmm. so all we're going to do is we're going to die cut these panels so our first one let me just check on my measurement so we're going to trim um, we're going to trim four pieces so we want four pieces of this and we want to trim them just under six inches um, oh, let me just check on this one die cut larger so I'm reading my instructions is that going to be I five and three quarters I, by is. three and three quarters? It is, yes. I'm just, you know what, I've done them in steps and I'm mm -hmm. just trying to think what steps I've got to. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do, yes, our five, yes, five, oh, here it is, pattern papers, yes. Uh, five by <laughs> three, <laughs> three and three quarters, just under six to just over three and a quarter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> look, look, you said you're not a mathematician then, uh, Leanne, and you've worked it out before me. Uh, right, so we're going to place The only thing I can ma mathematically compute, Debbie, is a mat and layer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm all Going right with down them. in your it's, it's my finances, it's my credit card, <laughs> it's the shopping bill when I'm crafting, it's all those things I can't math <laughs> mathematically compute. Out of choice, probably. I'm actually starting to think. I have. Oh, we've got another. We've got another sheet here. Let me just. Grab. Well, we'll have a check in with the ladies while you're working. Oh yeah, that'd be there, good. Debbie. And I'll just Why get not? another Let's sheet. Let's do that. We can have a look at some comments as well. Lovely. Um, Diane, how are you getting along? Oh, we've lost Diane's. We've lost Diane's microphone. Um, we're going to get that sorted and come back to you. What about Stacy? Stacy, microphones I aren't working. We've got Stacey. Here's Stacey. Stacey, how are you Hi. doing? Hi. I'm on track now. I got it. I'm doing my die cuts. Oh, good for you. She's on track. She's caught up. She's a machine. Oh, fabulous. Fantastic, Stacey. It's the pink jumper. It's the power of pink that's making that work. It really is. That's what it is, Stacey. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Thank you. You get on with your die cuts. We'll come back to you in a minute, love. Thank you. Okay. Um, Diane, hi. How are you doing? I'm I'm back. You're back? Have you got me? <laughs> We've got you. Well, how, how are you managing with your yeah. die cuts there, Diane? 
I'm fine. I'm just finishing Look up you. Uh, my uh, die cuts. Amazing. And are you using the same dye as our Debbie there? Yes. Oh, lovely. The beautiful Lowe's lace edges, aren't they? Yes, they are lovely. Yeah, pull really on nice. Out. I can see. I won't distract you any more, Diane. So I think uh, Stacey's okay. caught up. Thank you. I'll be back in a minute, Diane. Stacey's caught up great. Diane's doing her die cutting. Debbie, have you got your measurements, love? I have, yes. Excellent. Right, so we're going to trim our cardstock to just over, so just over the three and a quarter mark, which is just before the three and a half inch mark. So we're going to trim that one down and do that again on another piece of card. So just over the three and a quarter that's just allowing for our die cut and then what we're going to do is we're going to trim these down now actually if I halve my card down I'm pretty sure we can get out of this one piece so I'm just doing that to give you the correct measurements so that's exactly um, uh, five and three quarters yeah and that will give us our half mark that's just being really frugal with our uh, card stock okay yeah. and then we're going to do the same with this so that was five and three quarters and trim that down and that will give us our four panels lovely so you'll get that out of one sheet so each panel is five and three quarters by by three and just a three and a quarter, three and a quarter. so can you see what it's done it's allowed me just to have this edge yes, to nice. put our die cut down the side lovely. so even if it's three and a quarter it's not going to make no. too much difference but that's going to fit perfectly in that panel lovely. so then what we want to do is we want to take our next size so we're going to take our next size and then we're going to die cut that down that side now Lovely. don't worry if your die cut goes just a little bit over it makes no difference whatsoever so we're going to pop that to the side and we're going to do die cutting on all of these four pieces of card okay so again stick them down make sure they don't move and do them as i did before in your gemini across the top and then yes. you'll get no warp in okay thank you debbie so just to remind everybody that's five and three quarters by three and a quarter and your medium die being cut down the five and three quarter edge yes perfect brilliant and again all i'm going to do is place that into the top of my oh it's gone over there uh, place that into the top of my uh, folder and that way i can pop it in yeah. and then reverse it back lovely thank you so many people joining in saying how much they are absolutely adoring this craft along debbie lovely. really yeah. and so much inspiration um Pizza Saga continues. <laughs> Wolf Dark Eyes Moonwater says, my beautiful grandson wanted to make more pizza slices. Um, oh. can't, exactly, isn't that amazing? Oh, that's can't so stifle lovely. his creative thought. Absolutely not. By the way, he's only four. Oh, oh I love that. Um, he's getting a Play-Doh crafting kit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably safer, uh, Wolf Dark Eyes Moonwater, definitely. Well, mm. well, can I just say, though, yeah. um, I think leave the Gemini machine away from the Play-Doh. Yes, definitely. It might not go all the way through. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're probably right with that. My granddaughter, who is two, she's also getting Play-Doh this Christmas. She's getting the hairdressing salon. Oh, I love it. I know, I'm so excited. I love, it. I love playing with Play-Doh. I do, too. Um, okay, Melanie D loving this craft along and Stephanie Theodos says love your explanations and solutions Debbie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it's so, so helpful. I really do. Charlotte Everett says that is a fabulous paper pad. Uh, makes me want to order another 12 by 12. I really shouldn't mm -hmm. have already ordered two. <laughs> uh, just, just channel your inner Christine Mahoney, Charlotte. That's what I would say because she'll have 10, no doubt. Mary Lee says, I think I will make one of these in a Christmas theme for my aunt who's just entered a nursing home. And Marion Johnson says that looks like a lovely card Debbie oh, thank do you, you know what I was thinking the, the nursing home thing has just made me think of something there Debbie yeah because some nursing homes you can't take in real flowers I know yes. some NHS hospitals you can't take in real flowers that tower card with those massive flowers made out of the say it was flowers range as a vase oh. in the tower card oh yes in the centre <gasps> yes Debbie that's amazing. And the flowers matching with the flowers. The paper That's pad perfect. matches with the flowers. That's like a pit handmade va vase yes. with those beautiful crepe flowers in. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah. And it's tall enough. And actually, it's t yeah, it's tall enough to put flowers yes. in the top. You've, have you got them there? Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Look. Sit. Oh. Oh, 
Look. I mean, cut them down a little. Let's put them down. Them a fold, them, fold them round, yeah. This oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm excited, what Debbie. What a gift. What a nice get well gift if you're going what to the hospital. In? Actually, what a nice thing to have just in your home anyway. Absolutely. But, you know, if, if you have got someone in a nursing home mm -hmm. in the NH somewhere like that, yeah, they're perfect. not going to die. They're going to stay on their side and keep them happy I'm going to leave that in there. Yeah. I've just had that little... That's amazing. Yeah. <gasps> amazing. I love these sessions yeah, where we can all be creative together. <laughs> love that. Thanks. Absolutely love that idea. But it just shows you, doesn't it, what these ideas that we bring along in, in, in even just our normal demos, um, you will have your own take on them and what you can do with them. And it's exactly what it should be. Right, let's clear up all my little pieces. I've got two more left to go of these ones. But they're coming along nicely. nicely. We've just had a question seen as you're doing that, Debbie, yes. from, um, let me just check the names from, Michelle Parsons says, with those lace dies, could you cut through two pieces of that purple cardstock to save the amount of times you've got to put it through? So you could, um, but I would use your metal shim because, and the only reason I say that is because um, you might get some warping of your car, but also there's tiny, can you see the tiny detail in here? Mm. Um, it might not cut all the I way through I think it might be a bit of a stretch bits. Yeah, I with think a big cardstock. And yeah, I think I because you'd have to stretch, you'd have to put your card through maybe a couple of times yeah. and use your metal shim um, for the amount that takes to do and then pop out all those little pieces um i think you might as well just put them through one at a time yeah uh, and it saves warping your card as well because yeah. your card won't get warped so um yeah so yes good idea in reality i think the our machine would do it i just think it would just take so long to pop out because what happens even though it die cuts all those little you can see how tiny these little pieces mm. are even though it die cuts them all um what it would do is leave them in the cardstock yeah and then you'd have to use your be going back to years ago where yeah. dyes weren't so good machines weren't so good and we'd be poking out where look that's come out no that's just cut through there Perfect. as our star would say like hot knife through butter uh, which is exactly what you want for your dyes now i would then be then sitting with my second piece poking all those bits yeah through. you don't want to do that no not at all and actually all i can do now is just line my piece up just got little two little dots everywhere. I am definitely going to be sweeping the floor tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Last night I didn't have a lot of sweeping to do because I hardly made any mess, but today is a different story. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our last one Thank hopefully you. the ladies let's check in with are, the ladies um, yes. see how we are who we're checking in with first diane i am just on my um third piece Lovely. to cut out oh you're Great. doing well um, which color have you gone for diane well, I didn't have the um, say it with flowers, so I've gone with caring thoughts, Ooh, and I've gone with nice. that one. Oh, pretty! Oh, very pretty! Very pretty! Thank you, Diane. That's lovely. I can't wait to see how that looks. So you're catching up nice. You're cutting out on your coloured panels. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Diane. We'll check in with Stacey. I'm Hi, getting Stacey. ready to cut out my panels. I need the dimension because it. Uh, what was the dimension for the coloured panels? The coloured panels were three and a quarter by five and three quarters. Three and a quarter by five and three quarters. Yes. Okay. okay. On it. All right, you chop them out. We'll be back with you soon, Stacey. Thank, Thank you. Uh, I think the ladies are doing brilliant, don't you? They're doing so good. Yeah. And I love that Stacey's not panicking. No. She's just still going along and doing her thing. And that's exactly how it should be. If it's not fun, we don't want to be doing it, do we? No, exactly. So, uh, and it's all about the fun, it really is. Yes, totally. Oh, so let's see if we've got any is. more comments, Deb. Oh, we have, we have. Um, oh, Christine Mahoney says, I had guessed. Yes, you are correct. Um, I've got 10 dragonfly paper pads and 15 hummingbird. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less of you, Christine. Um, Anya, An oh, Anyita, Anyita Vasquez, that is so beautiful. I'm going to try this on the weekend, she says. Lovely. How fabulous is that? She's going to try it on the weekend. Um, and Michelle Parsons says, oh, okay, Leanne, maybe I should just buy two sets of the dies with a little wink. 
I'm with you. I like the cut of your jib, Michelle. That's exactly <laughs> what I would be doing too. Save yes, yourself a little bit of effort. Absolutely. Debbie, this is looking truly beautiful. Yes, so what I'm going to do now, yeah. now because we've got our intricate die cut, I'm going to use two things. I'm going to use my tape pen, my normal one, and my dotty one. Because I don't want to waste my dots, Leanne, on my full side of my design. No. So all I'm going to do is run my dots up on that side. Yeah. And then all I need to do is go round these edges to adhere the other just like so lovely thank and then we're you. gonna start matting and layering our tops and you can see that has as we've cut them it layers beautifully oh, in does. that bit look at that I mean that's just a nice panel itself and straight away you know that could be the top of your easel card the bottom of your easel card any different ways you want to do them a panel on your card so the choice is yours once you learn these how you mat and lay them Absolutely. up using those different colors it just all comes together I love that and it perfectly shows how those sets of borders and the way that they've been put together complement each other beautifully absolutely yeah uh, and and you know what sometimes i know people think well why do you need three borders you've got a nice border in there but it does show you each one has a different uh, appearance but also use them together you've got to use them together mm. because they look so beautiful so that's our second panel and then we've got our third one under there hiding because start to see them now because we've used white cardstock at the bottom and again, all you want to do is use that dotty tape pen to go with that intricate layering, which is just the most amazing. Uh, I've always said this, it's, uh, it's the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I love the dotty it's tape pen. It's great, isn't it? It's just, it just the best so much invention. And yep. Faff on. Absolutely. Absolutely. And when you die cut a beautiful piece of your precious cardstock, the last thing you need is wet glue squadging out all over and ruining it. I mean, if anyone's not tried them, honestly, try them on an intricate die cut. There is no stickiness on that whatsoever. It just, it disappears because it, it doesn't grab there. It grabs on the bottom here. So I can feel all the glue pieces on here that have gone through. Absolutely amazing. And then our last piece we're going to do on our main panel. Mm -hmm. So just pop in that, making sure we've got that the right way. It's hard to tell whether you've got the front or the back when you've got one block colour card. So just make sure you're doing it onto the back. And then again, I mean, you could be using a wet glue if you don't want to use your tape pens. Yeah. So whatever glue of your choice. Are you still, um, is your big favourite the uh, Kalau, Leanne? Oh, best glue in the world. Yes. Yeah, best glue really in the world, Debbie, one. still. I don't think anything will ever take my heart. Mm-hmm as far as the glue is concerned other than the all-purpose i really do just think it's an exceptional dish. i mean all of our dishes are excellent oh absolutely but it's, it's the one that i really could not live without it's super strong isn't it, it? is it's fantastic so all I'm doing now is now I've put them on my card, I'm just going on the backs to really burnish down mm -hmm. and that will just make sure that all those little glue dots, the strips of glue will adhere to my cardstock and nothing is going to shift that. So even no. if you've got your card over a radiator, it won't come apart. Exactly. So now that you've done that, Debbie, so you've got your main piece and three more panels. Yes. So if it's okay with you, I think we'll take a little pause Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Um, and we'll just check that the lady, give the lady some time to catch up. Have a look at a couple of things. I'll show you this Say It With Flowers collection, uh, which is lovely. That's the paper pad Debbie's been using. So we'll have a look at this in case you're interested. Give the lady some time to catch up and then we'll check in with them. And then we'll come back to Debbie for the next part of our craft along so the safe with flowers collection that we've got you today is absolutely incredible you've got 25 percent off and the papers in here are absolutely exquisite each one of them more beautiful than the next if that could even be possible they really do feel every time i look at this debbie i do think to myself yes this is my favorite part of the year <laughs> Uh, and I shouldn't have favourites because every single one we do, I think, is exceptional. But this, this one makes my heart happy, I think. It's just incredible. All of those beautiful colours and florals in there. It really is beautiful. Um, so you've got that 12... Oh, look at that one. You, I need that in my bathroom, I've decided. Um, you've got all of those beautiful ones in there. So that's your 12 by 12 pad. You've got the same in 6 by 6 
and you've got the same in the beautiful vellums in 8x8. Eight eight. You've also got the cardstock, the linen cardstock. I'm just going to show you the colours beautiful with this collection, beautifully match. You've also got your foam and your foam matches your cardstocks perfectly. Look at that. Um, you can see if I just turn that round that way and do that, look how beautifully your foams match your cardstock to be able to make your flowers. We've got your ribbon and we've got your pearls as an accent in there. Now you've also got all of these fabulous things so you've got dies to make your fabulous chrysanthemum you've got a die set to make your beautiful rose these can be in card or your form whatever you prefer you've also got one to do your beautiful peony you've got an exceptional set of beautiful versatile usable stamps a beautiful frame for your sentiments that half doily that debbie used this morning that she absolutely adores You've got your creator card with your florals, your beautiful, almost Spanish lace frame. You've got your huge sentiment dies. Happy birthday, dearest friend, just for you. You've also got your stamp and die floral set. You've got your beautiful floral edgeable, which is truly detailed and beautiful. We've got this huge set here, 3D folder, and all of the stencils so that when you layer it up you get this beautiful coloured floral design you've got your templates in here to make those really beautiful flowers debbie just put in that vase earlier you've got your dahlia you've got your uh, rose you've got your peony and you've got your carnation floral there as well and you've got a whole set of the crepe paper 12 of the balls we've got six six of ours has dropped off you'll get 12 your floral stems and your flower tape to be able to make those fabulous 3d blooms you're getting all of that all of that for 140 or 178 40 you're saving that fantastic was it 20 percent saving that fantastic 25%, which is absolutely incredible. And you can see from what Debbie's created, it is truly beautiful. She's just pop the other flower and we'll come back, we're gonna have a look at that vase. But look, we're giving the ladies some time to catch up. We're gonna check in with them. We'll be back with you soon. In the meantime, well, for you to catch up, because I'm sure you're following along too, let us know in the comments how you're getting along. Here's a little video to tell you all about Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other 
where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special? 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, it really is the best place to be for craft. It really is. It just makes my heart happy to watch those videos every time. So many of you joining us and having a really lovely time. Anita Vasquez says, Leanne, don't let the wire my name throw you off. You pronounce it Anita. I'll know that for the future. Thank you for letting me know. It's important that I get names correct. Um, so Anita says, this card would look great and cute cute Christmas papers with cut out images of Santa and reindeer on strong acetate glued to the inside of the centre square to appear as if it's floating. That. Isn't that lovely? I really yes. like that. Um, designed by Fazia says, hi gorgeous girls. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Hi. <laughs> uh, sorry, got late today. I'm taking instructions. I'll be doing this for my niece on her wedding. She loves everything I make for her with CC products. That's great. Rose says it's a beautiful collection. Eleanor, Eleanor Murphy says, I'm going to try this with the green papers to match my dining room and put flowers in it for the centre of my table. Yes. Yes, and Debbie. You can take that from Leanne. That was a brilliant I idea. I think yes. Um, however, Debbie worked out the tower thing, which I would never have done. So, <laughs> look, it's how t it's when well can lie, isn't it? Teamwork. Um, Michelle Parsons says, Leanne, you mentioned earlier that you wish these papers had a scent to them. When my husband was in away in Desert Storm, I used to spray, oh, spray my oh, perfume so onto nice. all of my letters to him. We could spray the paper. Yes, you could. That is a fantastic idea, isn't it? And it's actually Debbie who wants to spray the paper with perfume mm. every time she sees it. It's a brilliant idea. Let's check in with our ladies again. We've got Diane. How are you doing, my love? Um, there we go. Good for you. Oh, am I? pretty yeah, Diane. I've got all my panels done. Oh, you look at you. You're in the oh, Which way there? That looks beautiful. So, uh, Gorgeous. Thank you, Diane. So you're ready for the next step. Thank you. You can yeah. take a breather. You're ready for the next step. Thank you, Diane. Um, let's have Thank a check you. in with Stacey. Hi, Hi. I just finished my fourth panel. Brilliant. So I just need to put them on. Oh, fabulous. Brilliant. And I like that colour you're using there, Stacey. That's a lovely plum colour. Thank you. Yes. Very Thank pretty. You. I love that. Very, very nice. Now, we've just been talking. What time is it there in LA, Stacey? Sorry? What time is it? It is just after 7 a.m. Just so you are looking particularly gorgeous for it only being 7 a.m. in the morning. Please tell me you had to get up at 3 o'clock to look that glamorous. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because I tell you, I didn't sleep. I did not sleep. I was Wait. telling Diane that. I was like, you could be on TV. I couldn't fall asleep. Well, you look and then I got up before gorgeous. the alarm went off. <laughs> you look gorgeous. If it was 7 a.m. and you were looking at me, I would still have my robe, I'd still have my kick, my hair net, my dressing gown. It really would no fair. I wouldn't look anywhere near as gorgeous as you look, Stacey. Uh, thank you, ladies. We're going to get on with the next step, so that's a little bit exciting. So, Debbie, are you ready, my love? Absolutely. Thank you. Yes. So, we've got our third and final die, so let's get on to cutting that. So, I've chosen uh, my beautiful, bright honey paper with those gorgeous pink, purple and pink flowers on them. Now we want to cut this cardstock to, to three and a three, 
five and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I'm going to bring my guillotine in. Um, you could be mindful of where you want to position them on your card, but we are going to put some die cuts and things on them. So honestly, I wouldn't worry about it. So the first thing I want to do, I think I'm going to trim this way um, and trim because this will be the bottom of my card. And I'm going to trim this to five and three quarters. So five and three quarters. Um, oh, I'm just going to check that. I wouldn't, so only because I've got a feeling that might be... Five and a half. Yes, so five and a half. I just thought about that. I'm sure it was five and three quarters. So I'm going to trim another quarter off that. Yeah. So we're going to do that to five and a half. And then we're going to trim the next side to two and three quarters. Lovely. So two and three quarters. And we want four of those panels. So just trim those along. So two and three quarters. That gives me my third panel. And then again at two and three quarters. And then again our last piece at two and three quarters. So that gives us our four panels. So let's pop that to the side. So, and then these pieces will fit perfectly mm -hmm. onto here, right in the centre. But we're going to use our smallest die now. So let's bring that one in. And this we're going to cut beautiful, that. Debbie. I love the colours. Well, it's all thanks to that paper pad, isn't yeah. it? I mean, that collection, you are right, it is beautiful. Now, even though, let's take that away from that, you're going from over the edge, that mm -hmm. doesn't matter. You're still going to get that beautiful line because the great thing with our edgeables is that cutting edge is not along the bottom. So whatever you cut in will stay in that cardstock. So we're going to do the same again uh, and pop this to the edge. Now, a little tip here, Leanne. When I was yeah. uh, prepping this, I thought to myself, oh... Because it's only small, I can put it through my Gemini Mini. Yeah. Because it's only small. But what I did find, because it's only a one folder system, as you put it in, no matter taping it down, it still slightly moves the die. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it didn't work. So anyone, just in case anyone's thinking it might go through, I did try it uh, because I thought that would be the quickest way. But actually, it just warped the card and made the die move a little bit. Okay. So it was so just easier it. to put it through. It didn't okay. work, no. Um, I think you'd have to sort of put it down quite a lot for it to go down. Now, again, I'm going to take it right to the very end of my Gemini because that way it will literally take seconds to go through. So as soon as that's gone, I can press it pretty much within a few seconds, bring it back out. It took me probably about five, six seconds to actually you know, die cut Debbie, that. Uh, that was quicker than you could have wound it through, you mini. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. To be fair. And look at that, we get no warping through the paper and we get that perfect look at that, oh, which is amazing. Debbie. Exquisite. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. So just a really nice way to be able to do them. And you're right, I think actually that's probably quicker than what you'd put through your mini. So, yeah, um, so. so we don't have to worry about that. I just wanted to make sure, just in case anyone at home was crafting doing that and thought they'd do it, I did try it and it does um, sort of move in the midi. And I think it's just because of that one folder system and it's a manual machine where you just get that, um, you know, a pr more precision cut in the uh, electric machine. So let's pop that down and then do our next one and then just pop that in. I'm only putting a little tiny corner onto my papers uh, because like I said before, our low tack tape can be quite sticky because the Gemini ha is very powerful and it embeds the um, low tack tape into your cardstock. Yes. So just be very careful when you're taking it away. So it works wonders, but you don't want it to ruin your cardstock either. So I'm pulling that one out. Not taking long at all these. Yeah, it's quite unusual as well, Leanne, because we haven't had uh, two people crafting along for a long time. Have so we it's, not? No. That's so exciting. it's quite I nice. I really love spending time with Diane and Stacey. Absolutely. I've yeah, got, very nice. I have a jumper envy. I want Stacey's jumper. Have you uh, got it's like yours, though. You know, so she's got nice black and white stripes on She the has end. got nice black and white stripes. I noticed that. They're yes. really snazzy. I love them. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to get that jumper, though. She's I don't in, think so. I mean, it's America. a long way to go for a jumper. <laughs> I see, I don't know who sent um, uh, Craig a car, but I see a car from the US has come today from Cra for Craig. Has he? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Um, is it, I'm trying to think what it says on the 
I shouldn't really say because it's Craig's, isn't it? It's just that we get the letters come through and I've put it in the green room for him. Oh, lovely. Um, I want to say Greenwich, but I'm not sure that's what it says now. So I won't pretend that I know. I'm going to just turn these over because I'm cutting in the same spot time and time again. So remember to just turn and rotate your plates, even if you're cutting that small die on the end of your plate. Oh, it's so quick. So quick. It's, it's quicker than you can wade through the middle. I know. Honestly, it is, Debbie. So it's I love that. And I think it's great that you're showing people that because I think sometimes you can feel like you've just got to let the whole plate go through. Yes. And the whole point of us putting a reverse mechanism mm -hmm. on the machine was so you could do exactly as you're doing there. I believe we're the only people that do a reverse we are. function, aren't we? Yeah, so we are. We're the only people who has a manual reverse, so you can do that that you're doing now. Yeah, which is amazing. Look how time-saving it is. And in no time at all, this is my fourth panel now, and that's your uh, our die cutting, which is amazing. Yeah, I love that. So let's pull them out. So earlier, Leanne, you were talking about funny stories of what you've done and that slipping yeah. over. And all I could think about, and I don't know if you want to tell the story, but have you told the story on air about your mic going somewhere and and pulling something down? No, I don't think I ever have. Oh, you haven't. I think you should tell should that. Should I tell everybody? Yeah, I think all you right. should tell that story. So that another really, for me, is very funny. Another on air story, would funny one for me, would be, um, again, it was with Nigel May. And thankfully, Nigel May and I are extremely good <laughs> friends. <laughs> when I tell you the story, thankfully, we're very good friends. Um, so I had, I was wearing a skirt for the craft show. And um, for if you haven't seen before, uh, we've got these. I'm going to turn around and show you so you can have a look, because I think you need to see, don't you? Oh, I've got one stuck inside. We've got these mic packs on the back here. So I've got two. I've got a microphone box and an earpiece box and you click them on the back of your trousers Debbie's got them as well and basically that means I can talk to you so you can hear me and I can hear what Jamie and George are saying and everything runs smoothly in a show so I had my two things on but I'd put and I'd lost a bit of weight I'd been <laughs> quite healthy I wasn't particularly down but I'd been pretty healthy so I've lost a little bit and had an elasticated weight skirt on and so I put my mic pack and um, microphone on the back of my skirt and we used to walk down, we walked down the counter doing the products and I could just feel the weight of them pulling the skirt <laughs> further and further and further down. And by the time we got halfway down the pack shot, my skirt literally fell down to my ankles. So, and luckily you couldn't see below the counter. So I literally shimmied down the counter with my skirt, pushing it along my ankles like shimmy, shimmy, shimmy with Nigel who massive kudos to him, did not laugh, although it was <laughs> hilarious. And then it was right beside me, right beside me. Um, and then <laughs> and then we went, he said, I think we need to go to a little video. Um, and we'll be back with you in a minute. And in the video, he literally bent down, pulled my skirt up, saved me blushes so that the floor crew couldn't see. <laughs> and, um, and then for the rest of the show, it looked like Nigel just absolutely loves me because he had a hand behind my back not because he was giving me a cuddle, but because he had my skirt in a bunch <laughs> in his fist <laughs> so that the whole thing didn't come down again, Debbie. It really tickles me, that story. The worst thing is I can literally picture it. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's a good job we're good friends. So like, and it's a good job I wore good underwear that day as well. Because you know what that happened if you haven't got your good underwear on, do oh, you? Oh, absolutely, that's it. <laughs> oh, dear. The things we do, Debbie, the I things know, we do. I know, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Right, so I'm just going to be sticking. I'm going to leave it here, Leanne, yes. so I can pass that to you just to let everybody catch up. Yes. And all I've got is one more to do, which I'm going to layer on here. But let's yes. leave it there and just let let's you Let's leave catch it there up. and let the ladies catch up. Excellent. So we've got, um, we've got a lovely little video to tell you all about Crafters TV while you catch up with our Debbie, and we'll be back with you very soon. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Go 
get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafter's Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers, but really, the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family
Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you very much. I hope that gave you all some time to catch up with us. I know it gave us some time for Stacey and Diane to get to where we are and Debbie's rip-roaring to go. Um, I'm just going to read out a couple of a couple of little comments for you. Um, Anne, Anne Karnuska says, so you could conceivably use the 6x6 six six papers for this card. Yes, you could. Yes, you don't need to use your 12x12 12 12 oh, yeah, sheet. Um, oh, Kelly says, I may be at work, but I'm truly enjoying the craft along with you, ladies. Um, and Eleanor says, I love learning how to make different cards. Um, so Mary Lee says, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching Leanne and Debbie as our crafting duo. Thank you for the joy you are bringing into our lives. Oh, that's so nice. Isn't that so I'll start crying again, I Debbie. I know, me too. And me and Leanne were both talking actually earlier and saying yeah. how we've loved working together. We have. Mm. Honestly, it's been an absolute, yeah. and I mean it yeah. from the bottom mm. of my heart, it's been a joy, Debbie. Oh, thank absolute you. joy. Same for me. Um, Gilmore on YouTube says, oh no, Leanne, we're talking about the skirt now. Oh my word. <laughs> and then Gilmore says, laugh out loud. <laughs> I can see that happening to me, has happened to me with loose jeans on, luckily at home every time. <laughs> well, that, yes, at least you weren't live on telly. Can you imagine? <laughs> Thank goodness I'm short. This is when I'm happy that I am short because anything going on down here, you don't know and can't see. <gasps> Dear me. Barbara, Barbara Rastowski. Barbara. She says, I was walking across the street after work when my slacks dropped to my knees. Oh, no. E, Barbara. Oh, I hope dear. you just picked them up and went on and like nothing had happened because <laughs> that's what I would have to do. <laughs> um, Nancy Sharp says, what a funny story, Leanne. How did he not crack up on air? I bet your face went beet red. I didn't have time to go beet red. I was just worried about the fact that it was, I was shuffling along beside Nigel and the show <laughs> needed to go on. <laughs> and luckily, because Nigel and I are very good friends, um, he just he had my back. But I have to say, afterwards, when, it, when we were off air, the pair of us laughed for a solid 20 minutes. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. Honestly, we couldn't believe it. He says, for goodness sake, put that skirt in the bin, never wear it again. <laughs> I will, Nigel, I promise you. Um, right, Lynn Harvey says she's definitely going to have a go. She's definitely going to have a go at this card, Debbie. Mm -hmm. She really is. I'm excited to see. I think, can we have a look at that vase with all the flowers in as well, Debbie? Doesn't it look beautiful? It's just, it's just lovely. Look, look at, at that. that. I mean, I did it every way. And actually, I tell you what else would be nice to make it into a photo frame, so you could put your photos in it. So every time you move it round, you could see. Especially if you're giving it to someone in a care home or hospital, you could put a photo of the grandkids inside, couldn't you? So they've actually got a, photo, a usable yes. photo frame. I mean, that just looks amazing. I like that idea too to turn a new photograph, photograph yes. round on everyone yeah. and then have the flowers in the I top. Know. So many things you're going to be mm. able to do with this. And I definitely had that little epiphany at the beginning when I seen how you made that, Debbie. I yeah. think, you know, you could look at that and think I could never. But then when we've watched you put that together, it's yes. actually very, very simple, simple folding and a yeah. couple of panels with those beautiful dies in there i really really do love it can i just remind you about that fabulous say it with flowers kit um because it really is gorgeous um it really is and so look you've got all of these fabulous things in here you've got your 3d folder with all of your stencils you've got your fabulous floral edgeable in there which opens up um, and is absolutely beautifully detailed. We've got our beautiful stamp and die. We've got our fabulous large sentiments in here. And you're saving 25% on this collection, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and it is a big collection. It's unapologetically big because everything in here has a place, as you can see. And there is free shipping to the US as well. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, but I don't want all of those things, we do have some smaller bundles for you. Please go and have a look at Shop the Show if you would like to see those. You've got your gems, your ribbons, all of those. So everything that I'm showing you now, you are getting. You've got your beautiful form. You've got your beautiful... Um, cardstock 
you've got your absolutely beautiful vellums we've got our six by six pad we've got the most exquisite 12 by 12 pad and then you've also got your crepe paper and all of your flower making pieces and you've got all of your templates to cut round to make those beautiful blooms that Jebby's just been showing us in her vase um, so I think you can see that that is an absolutely gorgeous collection so Debbie are you ready to show us the next bit yes absolutely so just got that very last one to put on so that's our final panel so hopefully you've all got your panels uh, put on to all those pieces um, and then we can actually start putting it all together so let's just pop that one into place so that's all our panels now what I'm going to do is we're still going to leave these we're going to put these on last because what I want to do is decorate the side panels and the inside we can't do these panels till afterwards but you'll see what I mean so what I thought because we've only got the half hour left let's bring in some of those vellum sheets and start making our flowers to decorate the cards because because even if we don't so I'll bring this back in can you see we've done our die cuts and we've done our flowers now Lovely. the die cuts are very easy you cut them out of white cardstock so just in case we don't get a chance to cut these out yeah I just want you to see that actually all we need to do is show how to make the flowers and then we'll put it all together and then do our panels inside and out Lovely. and we'll thank be able to at least get that all finished yes, for you, our Debbie. craft along right now because we're using that I mean look at these sheets of vellum it almost seems a shame to to die cut them with the flowers but they do make gorgeous flowers but use your vellums to tear to make wraps to stamp onto to do your inserts there's so many different things that you can use for them and they're going to look absolutely gorgeous so let's bring in our I've got my uh, chrysanthemums so we're going to use this one and we're going to use our uh, all our dies here so first ones are these ones here so you've got two of your uh, bigger dies you've got these smaller ones but you don't really need them we're just going to be using these two dies uh, and our leaves so our leaves we're going to cut out of some of our green textured cardstock so we've got that beautiful linen cardstock so I'm just going to cut some of those out as well to stick behind now I've been heating up my glue um, gun but you can also use uh, your tacky glue kalau or your 3d glue gel so the choice is yours of how you want to do it uh, for quickness I'm going to use my quickie glue gun because I think it's a really good one to uh, to use mm -hmm. and then all I'm going to do is pop these onto there and I'm going to cut two out at the same time in fact I feel like I'm being wasteful because I don't need that so what I am going to do let's fold that over and we will just use these it doesn't really matter which side you cut out of because you can use either side on your flowers because we're going to be shaping them with our poker tool so let's just give that a, black, um, a burnish down so they don't come away I'm trying to be quite frugal here and then we can cut them as well in that on that place and let's just grab our plates and pop them through now because it's vellum you will be able to cut out probably I mean you probably could cut about three sheets in one go maybe four uh, vellum's a really nice medium for die cutting uh, and works perfectly well with whatever you die cut um, it's one of those mediums that's just really lovely to use and especially in flowers so let's cut those ones out now the more petals you use the more flowers the fuller your flower will be so we're going to we've got our four different uh, two of our large one two of our small one and I'm going to cut those out again so we're just going to pop that one there and then let's have another one on that place and then pop those back through and then that will give us plenty to um, start manipulating and using our uh, pokey tool to manipulate the petals lovely don't they look pretty on vellum, Debbie? So nice, yeah, so nice. And remember, you've got your foam flowers, so you can absolutely cut out your foam with these and uh, do the same, use your heat gun um, and... Uh, that's weird. Oh, it slipped. Look, uh, let's cut them out. Let's cut another one. That's my own fault for not uh, putting them... Um, uh, it's an e down I do that tape. all the time. That's my biggest fail, just yeah. not taping something down and it moves. That's what I do all the time, Debbie. Um, I love to see those cutting out like that because I think they're looking incredibly pretty. They're so oh, nice, yes, aren't they? they? Are. Um, and if anybody wants to see how we made foam flowers, we did that in craft along this morning. If anybody wants to go back and watch, yes, absolutely. You can go and see how Debbie did the foam flowers with this set. 
Yeah, they're super easy. I mean, I always say that Sarah is the queen of foam flowers, uh, and actually, so is our Corinne. Um, she makes some amazing foam flowers as well. Right, so we've got all our pieces. So I'm going to take our larger ones, just like so. And all I'm going to do with my tool, I like to just uh, use them to curl inwards first. So what I'm doing is putting my fingernail just here. I haven't got long fingernails either, so it's not about shaping them with the fingernail. It's pushing it up against your finger now so just like so so I like to get those bottom ones just with some shape on and just keep curling over and then that creates that beautiful shape okay so that gives us our base one and then I'm going to do that again so just curling these up just pushing it against your thumb now just so it gives it that dimension now be gentle but firm because if you go too hard all you're going to do is pull your petals off um, and then we can offset that against so we're filling the gaps. So that's what I want to do for my ba the, the base of my flower but then I want to start building it up more. So what I want to do is curl my flowers the opposite way. So we're going to then come in and curl it into the front. So just bending it in and curling these ones in. And actually, just have a play with how you like to do your petals. Some people quite like just your petals flat with maybe a little bit of curling at the side. But look how much dimension we're getting by curling it's all these rich, ones in. It? Just so lovely. And you can still sort of bend these out and have some coming in and out. Just lots of different ways. I love that. One. Eleanor uh, on YouTube, Eleanor Schwing Jones, she says she really wants this collection. Yes. It is a beautiful collection. I isn't understand it? that, Eleanor. I really do. And I think um, if you're meaning the Say It With Flowers collection, then we've got that for you. But it might be that you mean the Lace Edibles collection, um, which, of course, the details for that is on the screen for you right now. And if you're a Platinum Melon, Eleanor, a, pra a Platinum Melon? What's a Platinum, <laughs> a platinum Melon? melon. <laughs> if you're a Platinum Melon, I honestly, I'm just making things up as we go along today. If you're a Platinum member, <laughs> Eleanor, was all, that was all joined into one before, um, then of course you can see they're 73 or for you $84 if you're in the US, which is a great saving. Um, and of course, 30% saving and you get that 100 extra bonus points as well. <coughs> if you mean the Save With Flowers collection, Eleanor, then we can put those details up for you while Debbie's shaping her flowers. Um, and you can see that we have, it is a lovely big collection. We've talked about that um, lots of times, but I think everything in that collection, incredibly useful and usable. The most beautiful papers that you've got in there. You can see your prices on the screen for you now. You've got your 12 by 12 pad, your vellum pad, your card, your foam, your crepe paper, and your six by six pad, as well as all of those accessory pieces in there. For that price but if you want something a little smaller if you just want the papers for example there are smaller bundles on the website for you go and have a look and then you can treat yourself to the bits that you particularly like or want they're coming together great, Debbie. Yeah, it's just a case of using whatever sort of technique you like to use. So I like to have that sort of base one that's sort of coming out and then to bring them in together. Now this one here, just while Leanne was talking, can you see I've made almost like a centre point. All I've done to do that is if you bring it in half, just like so. So you're going to fold that in half, do exactly the same. So curl your uh, tips in, just like so. And then if you bring that together round, can you see, just holding that oh. together, it just creates a really nice little sort of flower bud in the middle. Wow. Just to do something a little bit different with those. And um, that's just so easy to do. So let's wow. just pop these pieces in. Now I'm using my glue gun because it's the quickest. Uh, be careful with your fingers, but if you haven't got one, uh, have a look on our website because they're just a great addition uh, for really yeah. quick sticking. It's if I need to get something dry and in the post, too sweet. Yes. I use the heat gun. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So it's just a case of layering them all up because they're all just going to look amazing and coming in so you can see. And then we've just got those little pieces to put inside. So let's just pop that into there. And actually I'm going to put both in. Let's be, uh, let's be greedy. 
put that in the Being side. generous, Debbie. Absolutely. That's what it is. Generous, not greedy. So put in all those pieces in the middle. Just hold that while it takes. And then that creates, let that stick down, creates our little flower bud, which Lovely. is beautiful to go in. Let's move that to the side. And then actually, because we've done our flower, I'm just going to move those petals inside. I think it only needed one, but because I was trying to use everything that I'd cut down. Once your glue has dried a bit more and it's not so hot, you can then take it and sort of move those petals yes. in and around. But you get such dimension with that as well, so uh, which is really nice. So you get the curvature over here and then your petals coming in. Beautiful. So let's pop that in. Now let's do, and actually I think we could do some of our die cutting as well. What we want to do though, I want to create some panels for the inside and the outside. Now you can either carry on, so I'm going to carry on and use this piece of paper mm -hmm. um, because I don't know if I'll get enough out to do the centre points so I might bring another sheet in but what we want to do we want to create some strips of card so we're going to do these ones let me just grab my notes we're going to actually do our uh, thinner ones so let's see coordinate cool pattern just under the two so cast back with the guy thoughts ah brilliant right so one and a quarter by five and three quarters so I'm going to do hopefully my five and three quarters perfect there we go and then we're going to trim off um four one and a quarter inches so these are just our little small panels you'll see what these are for when we put our um tower together so one and a quarter and again that's our second one that's one and a quarter Eleanor Murphy on YouTube, Debbie, she says, this may be my very favourite card that I've learned to make since watching your show. You oh. guys give us such great inspiration and entertainment as well. This has become my favourite morning show. What a nice thing to that's say. Kind. That's absolutely kind. I yeah, love to hear that because that's what we're here for. We just want to really entertain and inspire and show everybody how to get the most out of their fabulous crafts products. Absolutely. I feel like I've really been frugal with this. I'm still using my same piece of card and I'm going to now cut, because this is a good size, I'm now going to cut this. I'm going to make sure, yes, it's six inches. So I need another four um, that, are six, that are two inches, but I need to cut them just under two inches mm -hmm. uh, because we don't want them to get into the folds of the card. No. So I'm doing it like uh, one and three quarters plus half of that little line between. So just below the two inches and then we'll do another one just below the two inches and then next oh don't know if I will get this in we're like how much have we got we've got three inches one and a half oh we won't be able to do it but I'm gonna I'm gonna just make them smaller yeah and then that way so I'm gonna do it one and a half inches now the reason I've done that and I'm gonna do my other two is because just to, it's not, I don't really want to go into a full 12 by 12 piece yeah. of card uh, when I don't really need to because no. these actually are just for decoration yeah. and if you're going to use them like we've used it as a vase you're not going to see these either because yes. these are the ones that are going to go on the inside yes. panels so let's bring those to the side take my little pieces away so if you turn your card and you have them now I know that um, uh, what have I done there oh there you go um, I know that uh, Stacy yes. has put hers together. Uh, so what I would recommend, Stacy, use a wet glue. So when you put them inside, so you'll do yours while they're done. Uh, you can manoeuvre them about. Yes. So that's what I would suggest. So what we're going to do is just stick She's these nodding. down on She's the got inside. The, she understands, Debbie. Fabulous. Stacey's nodding. Fabulous. So yes, it, so it doesn't matter that you've done that. It's just a case of. Um, uh, putting it in afterwards but using that wet glue so I'm using a tape just popping them into the center just making sure I've got all my and I think size. it's great to see this go together Debbie and of course I think just understanding how to construct that tower yes. is the most important thing yep absolutely. because I think any prettiness that you put on the inside or the outside actually that's where you express your own creativity absolutely um, yes. and you can use things that you've got at home you can choose to put more on less on i think seeing debbie create the tower and then you've been able to express your creativity with some of the decoration 
it'll be really wonderful, don't you, Debbie? Oh, absolutely. And once you've got the concept and learnt how to do it, uh, yeah, that's exactly right. Whatever collection that you've got in your stash is going to work on this card. Uh, I love the idea of the Christmas makes. Yeah. I think that's a really, really nice idea, especially if you've got a snowflake border. Oh, mm. yes. Absolutely. Right, now, I'm not going to put these panels on yet, and you'll know why when we put it together. So the next thing we're going to do, we are going to glue this together. So we're going to glue the last strip on the mm -hmm. end here. So you've got it open. You want to turn your last strip in, and then we're going to add that glue to the edges. Now, if you are using a glue pen like me, make sure you do go right to the edges, because you want to make sure that sticks. And then all you're going to do is bring this over and you're going to stick it to the opposite side and then you know that will lay completely flat when you've done it okay and that will create your cube Fabulous. There. okay and i am just going to make sure again i'm just going to burnish that down so that's not going to come apart Lovely. so it's this strip here that these strips are going to go down okay nice. but we're going to do them afterwards because now what we want to do we want to join all of our panels so you're going to follow them round so your first panel round go to the right hand side and then you're going to fix this one down okay? right so and all you're going to do is put your glue onto that panel yeah so let's just bring our glue down Again, just making sure we've gone right to those edges and then that one will go onto that panel. Because they're all the, the size that you've done the, that first panel, they're all going to fit beautifully. And then again, we're going to just turn that panel over. So you'll turn that one over and then this one will then stick to this panel. And keep checking, so as you stand them up, you'll see that they're following all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then our last one will go onto this panel here. Lovely. Okay, so next one, putting that tape all the way down and sticking them into place. So that's our third panel, like so. And again, just give that a burnish down and then turn it over and you've got your last panel here so which will go here and i'm just going to make sure so you open it up so you can see all that pinwheel check, all the way yes. around and then we'll just do that last one so i mean basically the lace edge is always on the right hand side yes as, yes, you, can, as you stick them down yes <coughs> oh, excuse me so pop that one into place that becomes our last panel and then once you've done those, you've then got an edge each side, which you can then put these pieces down. Yes. And that's going to join in. And actually, I didn't think it was it needed to have the uh, matte and layer no. on these ones. I figured because it was just a small strip, you just want to hide that whiteness. Yeah. Uh, you might like the whiteness, um, but actually it's quite nice just to put that down that edge. And it just gives it a little offset difference. It does. So we'll put all these all it the way around. It actually makes it stand out a little bit more, Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. It's just that contrast, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. getting that different look, that contrasting feeling, but it's taking away that blank space. And then our next one. And what I do love about this, so it's actually called, I'm pretty sure the proper name for these are the pinwheel tower cards. Ah. Yes, so if anyone wanted to go on, and I, I literally, it's not my idea. Um, I'm always uh, focal about um, getting ideas off of Pinterest and YouTube, uh, and it was one I found on, YouTube, uh, on Pinterest, and I thought, what a brilliant concept. Uh, and you can do them any sizes you want. I mean, you don't have to put your edge balls down them. In fact, none that I see had an edgeable down them I just thought it would lend themselves really oh, well gosh, to yes. an edgeable I think it would be boring without yeah absolutely and there you go there's your concept of your card wow so I think we need to call them the pinwheel tower vase <gasps> pinwheel tower vase yes, yes look, Debbie look Oh, yes. Look so all that. I've done is we have put our sentiments on there and we've also then put those flowers in between those die cuts. Yes. Um, but I think you'll agree they look absolutely lovely. Debbie, I think that is absolutely beautiful. Let's check in with Diane and Stacey and see how they're doing. Diane? Hi. Thank you Brian's for bearing with us. 
How are you doing? Oh. It- Oh, you're getting there, Dad. You've got all the inside yeah. decorated. Lovely. I've just the panels to pop, pop you're on. You're just popping your panels then... on. Not far off. That... It's beautiful. Are no. you enjoying that? Are you look, liking how it's coming together, Diane? Yeah, it's easy to understand now. I didn't understand it before, but yeah, I, I get it now. You get it now. That's brilliant. And I love the colours you've used there, Diane. That's really pretty. Thank you. Yes, really pretty. You keep sticking. We'll check in with Stacey. We'll come back to you before the end, Diane. Okay. All right, love. Stacey, yeah, how bye. are you doing? Hi, good. Hi. So this oh, is what I've oh, wow. done me. so far. Oh, love. I didn't, I was taking out all the pieces and then I thought, oh no, I'll take out the pieces later. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh, Stacey, that's the one. I love the papers We lost used. two, so I wasn't sure about the flower. Yeah. I thought I saw her doing it in vellum. Debbie, yes. did you do it in vellum? Yes, yes, I did, yes. Oh, and that green, I did a, the green. It makes such a beautiful leaf. I've it lost does. it amongst my yeah, stuff now. Yeah, but you're right, Stacey. It makes but a man, what a beautiful leaf, leaf that made. Yes, yes, it does make a beautiful leaf. And I think you can do your flower afterwards. I think getting the construction right yeah. and then layering up your flowers later, you can do all of your decoration till your heart's content. But that, I think with the colours you've chosen, is looking truly beautiful. I really do, Stacey. Thank I you. think it's gorgeous. Are you Thank pleased you. with it? Are Sorry? you pleased? One more time. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Are you pleased with it, Stacey? Oh, very, yes. very. I'm Good. pleased with the whole experience. Uh, yeah, this has been wonderful. Oh. And I want to thank you for, I saw, I'd asked a few times about that canvas bag. And then uh, you were on and you said, I'm going to have to see if I can get my team to get this in for you. Thank you so much for that. Oh. I really want that bag. So oh. <laughs> I'm so pleased Stacey, with that. it's my absolute pleasure. And I can, I can update yeah. you, Stacey, and let you know that we're making nice very to meet good you progress. Guys. Hey, you know what? So you guys have met me as Stacey, but in the chat, I'm Ann Purplicious. Oh! Yes! Drops. And okay. I'm Ann Purplicious because... 20 years ago, when they decided to verify you, I had that name just as a made up name, and Google verified me as Ann Purplicious. <laughs> so I kept sending them emails, oh, no, I'm not. And they kept sending them back, no, we've checked all your social media. You are Ann Purplicious. So I said, okay, I am. <laughs> Love that. Oh, and then at that point, you just stop arguing with them and you just be Ann Purplicious. <laughs> now we know that Ann Purplicious is our gorgeous Stacey. Thank you for letting oh, us put a you. face to a name. And Stacey, I've made great progress on the uh, jute bag you'd like to, I'd like you to know. So you could, that's something for you to look forward to. Oh. Um, oh, we'll yay. be back with you Thank before you. the end, Stacey, we will. Uh, Debbie, have you got anything else you'd like to show anyone or just talk through before we uh, Yeah, we can do. I'm not doing any more because I think it's just the die cut inside yes. of things. But absolutely, uh, use all your dies. Now, I've used this collection with these dies on them because I think it creates just the most amazing birthday gift and card. So using those dies, I've put happy uh, birthday there and then on the second one in I've then put dearest friend oh. so I love that these all match and then I've put a different die cut to use those flowers on in between and just use your flowers use what's in your stash um, I know you love this die um, Leanne which is just it's so pretty isn't it yeah it's such a lovely one and it's also got a lovely centerpiece so if you wanted to stamp one of your sentiments instead of a die cut you can stamp into that as well which is absolutely gorgeous uh, but yeah have some fun with that please send us in your picture uh, and just show us exactly uh, the types of tower cards you've been making and the different paper pads that you've been using because it just shows you how they all look very different and, and that's invaluable in crafting. It's getting that idea and putting your take on it. I absolutely agree with you, Debbie. I think the important thing was learning how to make that lovely we're going to call it a pinwheel tower vase now. Debbie's named it. That's the thing. Um, <laughs> is learning how to construct that and how to get all of the pieces together. And then the decoration is for your joy at home, really, in terms of how you want to do it. Now, if you love those lace dies that Debbie has used, this is the collection that she's used in her craft along. And these are the beautiful, delicate lace edibles. You're getting all six of these collections, three dies in each collection, 24 edge 
dies in this collection you're getting for your $73.60 or $84 if you're a platinum member. You're also getting your 8x8 vellum, your gnome 12 by 12 paper pad and your country lane linen card pack as well plus a hundred extra bonus points um, with the purchase and you are saving 30 percent on this which is absolutely incredible here are the designs and you can see these six three sixes no it's 18 so three six but th 18 dies in this collection which is incredible so you can see these first ones are your sensational scallops that's what debbie's used um, to make that beautiful tower card then we've got our modern edgeables our modern mosaic we've got our flowers and swirls we've got our edwardian chic our elegant opulence and our pretty lace you're getting all six sets three dies in a set 18 edgeable dies for your 73.60 or 84 dollars which is absolutely brilliant now it comes to the sad part of the show where we've got to thank and say goodbye to the very fabulous diane and stacy so we're going to come to diane first and get a little update on where diane is here she I'm is oh diane on. that's looking beautiful i didn't have the uh, flowers so i've done a decoupage one it decoupage one wait a minute there we go i love that decoupage. that's a great idea because it's using all the other things you've got at home um and that's yeah i didn't you have it so decorate as you like beautiful and look those papers look gorgeous with that edgeable i think you've done an exceptional job there diane thank you so thank much for you. joining us and really thank, thank you both uh, but thank you for Aww. laughing along with us at the beginning diane i really appreciate <laughs> your humor because sometimes people don't get my sense of humor so thank you <laughs> thank you very much diane for your patience thank you. and for being such a fabulous guest today please keep in touch with us and share on social media let us know what you've done stacy how are you getting on love very well i started poking out my holes because yes. i had a lot of them <laughs> but i found my leaf yes. and man that's just so pretty i it love is. it i love it's it pretty so i'm gonna have to die cut a cinnamon and finish it up and then i'll post it yes it is absolutely beautiful but make sure you get it on to the social so we can see that stacy thank you for bearing with us thank you, thank you for your humor thank you for getting up so thank dreadfully you. early in the morning to join us we really are oh my glamorous. pleasure Honestly, it's been such a wonderful opportunity to meet you. Thank you very much, Stacey. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and we hope Thanks. to see you soon, if not in the YouTube chat, Mrs. Purplelicious, <laughs> now that we know who you are. <laughs> Thank you, Stacey. Bye, Take Stacey. care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. What a wonderful craft along we've had. And all thanks to our fabulous Debbie Fisher. So a virtual round of applause for her. We're so Aww. grateful, Debbie. Such an <laughs> inspirational project. We're all incredibly grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you to the beautiful ladies for joining us. Um, and thank you to everybody in the comments that you've joined along and shared your stories. And thank you for having a laugh along with me and my dropping my skirt story live on air. Let's not tell everybody that I did that. That's just between us, right? <laughs> Nobody else but us. Um, I'm going to see you along with Debbie in the next couple of hours. So that will be 6 p.m. We've got launch party. So that's 6 p.m. GMT, which is your 1 p.m. Um, Eastern time and your 10 a.m. Pacific time. So we'll see you there for a fabulous launch party. Very excited and so much more inspiration from lovely Debbie. See you in a couple of hours. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>